Welcome to Odooers. In this video, we're going to talk about the Odoo Rental App. The rental market has been growing a lot in many sectors recently. Office space, lodging, transport, furniture, heavy equipment, and even clothing. For obvious economic and environmental reasons, people are relying on renting now more than ever before. This is something we want to take advantage of at Stealthy Wood. A lot of our customers have already asked us if they could rent our furniture, but sadly we didn't have a good way to handle our rentals and it was impossible for us to satisfy their demand at the time. We do have a lot of products and it can sometimes be difficult to stay organized. But now, thanks to the rental app, renting our products is a walk in the park. We can keep an eye on which products are reserved to avoid multiple bookings, make new products available in just a few clicks, and decide which extras we want to offer, such as rental insurance, extensions, and so on. We can also check reports by product or customer, as well as analyze revenue by quarter or month. So let's jump into the rental app and see how it helped us expand our business. And who knows, maybe we'll rent our super secret offices at some point. All right, here I am on my database. Now, I actually just received a call from one of my customers who would like to rent some conference tables from Stealthy Wood, as well as some chairs to go along with them. So let's jump to the rental application. And the first thing we're going to see here is an overview of all of our rental orders. But the first thing I'm going to do is actually jump to my products list. All right, so here by default, it's going to be filtered um, to show you just the products that can be rented. If I want to see all of my products, I simply have to remove this filter. So let's go to my conference table. All right, the item that my customer wants to rent. Now I know that this is a rental product because I have this option checked can be rented. Now, if you want to um, rent one of your pre-existing products, all you have to do is go to the product and select this option. If you are creating the product directly from the rental application, that will be checked automatically. Once you have that checked, you're going to have a new tab here, the rental tab, and this is where you can go ahead and add some um, prices for this rental product, and you can do that based on different periods of time. So in this case, for my conference table, the minimum amount of time my customer can rent this item is for one day. However, I can choose between hours, days, weeks, or months, and you're going to notice that I have multiple lines, so it actually is slightly cheaper the longer my customer rents this item. So I have one day, one week, and one month. Now what's really cool is Odoo can actually compute the best price for the customer, but it won't mix lines. So for example, if my customer would like to rent this conference table for nine days, it's not going to take the price for one week, which of course is uh, cheaper than nine individual days plus the price of two days, but it will consider the cheapest price per one line. So again, it doesn't mix the two lines, um, but it will say, okay, would uh, two one-week units be cheaper than nine individual days? Well, in this case, two one-week units would be $750, whereas um, nine individual days would be $675. So in this case, it is cheaper to um, use the unit of one day and the price for that unit. Um, but Odoo will consider what's cheapest. So let's imagine the customer wants to rent this uh, product for 12 days. In that case, it would be cheaper to charge the customer for two week units. Um, so even though they aren't actually renting the product for two full weeks, it's cheaper to charge them for two full weeks. So the system is smart like that. On the right side, you're going to be able to add some extra fees. Um, so let's imagine the customer is late to return the item. Uh, we have some extra fees depending on how, uh, how many hours or how many days late they were to return the item. So we have um, $3.50 for each hour that they're late and $84 for each day or for every extra day. We also have some security time as well. So this is really nice. It's actually the amount of time that the product will be unavailable before an order. Now this is just to avoid any conflicts between reservations. So that's a really cool feature to take advantage of. For this product, I have um, two hours before the order. Now we're going to go back to our products and we're going to check out our chairs. So the other item that the customer would like to rent. 
So for this item, I have activated variants. So my chairs come in white, black, and natural wood. All right, so I did need to activate that option in the settings of the sales application. It is not activated by default. And something else you're gonna notice is I added an optional product. We're gonna see this clearly when I go to add this product on the rental order. But again, I want to emphasize that you do not have that option by default. You do need to activate it in the settings of the sales app. An optional product here is insurance. And then under the rental tab, we're actually going to be able to define different prices per variant. So you can add multiple lines um, per variant as well. In this case, I just have one line, um, just a one day price. All right, but you're going to notice that it's actually a bit more expensive to rent the chairs in natural wood um, than the painted chairs. All right, so you can um, add different prices per variant, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and save this and let's create our order. So I can go to the orders menu and click on orders or I can just go to our dashboard by clicking on rental and then create. So let's choose our customer, Marie-Aline, and then we're gonna add our products. So the first product will be a conference table. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is um, specify the dates when she's actually going to be renting this product. So let's choose the 28th then till July 4th and we're going to apply. All right, so we have a duration here of one week. I'm gonna change the quantity to three. She would like to rent um, three conference tables. And we also have the unit price and the calculation. So we're gonna see that it actually took the price for one week rather than the price for seven individual days. All right, if I change um, if I change the dates, we're gonna see that this unit price may change, the calculation may change. All right, so let's go ahead and, well, actually I'm not gonna do that yet. We can add the serial numbers now. So this is useful if your customer uh, wants a specific table. Let's say she just wants table two, three, um, and five, but not one and four because she saw some scratches last time and she just doesn't want those tables. We can go ahead and select the serial numbers now, or I can wait till she's actually um, there in the store to pick up the items. So I'm gonna wait, we're gonna click on add, and then I'm gonna add the chairs. All right, we get this lovely product configurator. Um, now I did activate this option again in the settings of the sales app, but she would like to get the chairs in natural wood. We're gonna click on add. Here I have the optional product, which I can quickly add to my cart. She would not like to do that, so let's just click on confirm. She's gonna rent 50 chairs. And for the date, it is automatically going to um, select the same date um, dates as the ones that you selected on the first product. However, it is possible that your customer would like to um, rent different products for different um, amounts of time. So you can modify that if you want to. Um, but just to keep it simple so that you don't have to select the date every time, it's just going to take um, the dates that you first applied. And then again, we have our pricing calculation here. And we're gonna click on add. All right, I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna send it by email exactly as I would for a regular quotation. All right, as soon as it is sent, we're gonna see a stage change from quotation to quotation sent. And we can preview this quotation as if we were the customer by clicking on the customer preview button. This is gonna redirect us to the website. It's gonna give us the view that the customer would have from their portal. We can click on sign and pay where you can assign. And then they'll be able to pay for this online depending on the payment options that you have set up. So you can set up some automatic um, payment options so they can pay by credit card online using PayPal, Authorize.net, Stripe, and even more. We have plenty of options. And I do talk about that in another video, so be sure you check it out. In this case, I just have wire transfer set up. So we'll click on pay and confirm. And then the customer will see my um, bank account information, which I haven't actually set up yet. And then they'll be able to wire transfer that money to me. And once I receive the money, I'll confirm the order. By clicking on confirm, we see a status change up here. And we'll also see that these products have now been reserved. And we're also gonna be able to see that status from the dashboard as well. So I see those that are reserved, returned, or even in the quotation status. All right, so let's come back. 
if my customer would like to pick up this order, they've come, they're like, hey, I'm here for these conference tables and the chairs. All we have to do is click on pick up. And that's where I'm going to add my serial numbers since I do track my conference tables um, by serial number. I don't track my chairs, so I'm not going to add anything there. And then we're going to click on validate. All right, again, we have a status change uh, and now it says picked up. We can also print a pickup receipt. So I can go ahead and do that and I can say to her, okay, take this receipt. Um, I see which serial numbers, I see the products, the pickup date and this expected return date. All right, I have all of that information here. I can say um, bring this slip back to us um, when you're returning these items or I can just give that to her for her information. All right, in the chatter, I'm going to be able to see that these items were picked up. I can even see the specific serial numbers that I selected. Um, I have all of the products here. So everything that happens will be noted in the chatter, which is just a really great way to keep track of our products, um, our rental orders, and just everything that's going on. All right. Now let's say that time has passed and my customer is ready to return the items. All I have to do is click on return. Now we can return everything at once and that's what Odoo will propose, that it will return all items. Or of course, we can remove an item. Let's say she's returning the tables but not yet the chairs. I can remove this from the list by clicking the little trash bin. Um, we can even uh, remove a specific item if they're tracked by serial numbers or we can change the quantity. So let's say she's taking everything uh, from the truck and she realizes that, oh no, I forgot one of the conference tables. You can remove that conference table from the list and she also forgot um, 20 chairs. You can change the quantity that's returned here. All right. But Marianne is very reliable. So she returned everything. We're going to validate this. All right. We see it has now been returned. We, of course, can print that uh, receipt once again. And we're going to see the returned number has been updated. And of course, it will be noted in the chatter. So it's super, super easy to keep track of your uh, rentals with Odoo. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.